with Quark Express. My name is Martin Turner. Today we're going to be talking about composition zones. Now composition zones are a very powerful part of Quark Express which has been in Quark for quite a few years but a lot of people either don't know they're there or think they're too complicated to use and so I'm missing quite a few tricks which can make some otherwise difficult or nigh and impossible tasks very easy indeed. Now, um, I want to begin with a very simple, uh, common example of one of the frustrating things about somebody being somebody who uses uh, Quark Express. And that is people come to you uh, with last minute jobs uh, that aren't last minute at all. So uh, you've got home from the office and somebody comes around from the, the Roman society of which you are a kind of vaguely involved member. Uh, you like, you know, occasionally putting on your, your Roman arm or whatever. And they say, we want to give out 500 greetings cards. He says, that's great. We can, uh, we can get a pr commercial printer to do that. We can get some nice paper, maybe a little bit of vellum type. Uh, and we can get that done probably in two weeks on a traditional offset uh, LIVO. Or if it's a digital press, we could probably get that done by the end of the week. And the guy says, no, 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 no. I want them done tonight. And so uh, the answer is, as we've all done this, and they're not great, but uh, you, you make this kind of fold out greetings card by printing on uh, an A4 sheet, uh, the, the four panels, uh, and then you fold it down and you get to uh, A6, uh, and it, it's weighty enough to be quite nice to give to somebody, especially if they weren't expecting a greetings card. Uh, however, if we go to the screen now, um, the problem is that when you're working Quark Express, uh, the thing's not going to come out uh, in the right way. Because on your card, um, you've got uh, the um, upside down uh, inside and the right way up front. But of course, everything in Quark Express uh, is the right way up. Now, what you'd usually do uh, in making this is you begin by... Uh, folding out a piece of paper, uh, right on the front cover, right on the back, back, uh, right on the inside, left and right, and then you fold it out uh, and use it as your model. Problem, it, it, you've got to have it upside down. And if, if, you, uh, if you have it upside down, let's just turn that over, uh, if I have that upside down, that's great until the guy comes back and says, oh no, no, that's, that Latin's no good at all. You got that off Google Translate, didn't you? And you say, yes, I did. Well, you should never ever do that. It's always wrong. I'm going to correct it for you. And then he starts typing and it's going in the wrong direction because editing upside down is very difficult. There is a very, very simple uh, solution to this in Quark Express and it is composition zones. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold down control and I'm going to click. I used to do it with two hands. Um, control click uh, gives me the contextual menu. Uh, and um, uh, let me just select both of those things for now. Uh, and that's going to offer me composition zones create on a PC that is right click uh, for contextual menu. Always use the contextual menus if you can because it brings up the most useful things for what you're doing right now. I'm going to create a composition zone. And that creates a new layout which is hidden at the moment with this material on it. And I'm going to just turn that over. Uh, so, okay, you might say, well, how is that any better? Uh, again, let's create a composition zone here and create. I'm going to turn that over. Uh, and I'm going to swap those two round because they should be the other way around. Um, and here goes. I could have done that as one contextual menu, but there's a, a one, one composition zone. But uh, there's a reason why not. Okay, let's uh, now composition zones uh, edit. Uh, and here I've got, um, let's just reduce that so we can see what's going on. Here I've got Beatus Idibus Martis, uh, Happy Ides of March, uh, according to my Google Translate, but a real Latinist would probably put something totally different. Uh, I'm just going to translate that now for those who don't speak Latin. Uh, happy uh, Ides of March, and as you see, uh, up it comes on the screen there. I'm just going to make that font um, uh, Trajan, uh, so I've used that before, and if I do Option or Alt uh, up arrow, it'll take me right to the top where in Quark Express 2017, you get the most recently used font. So that's in there now. And as you can see, that's appeared there. Now, let's go a step further because um, not only can we uh, use that sort of once and then work the right way up uh, on our page, but we can also reproduce the content. Let's go back to the screen. And I'm now going to uh, 
just go to this uh, layout here. Uh, um, sorry, didn't want to do that. Uh, composition zones, uh, edit. And I'm going to go up to um, the uh, this little menu here where it says layout three um, and uh, advanced layout properties. I'm going to do share layout. Uh, so uh, I can do it. This project only all projects. Uh, this project only is fine. Now I can also show the tab in the project window. We'll come back to that if we want to. But for now, look what's happening. Uh, um, so look what's happening over here uh, on the screen as I press OK. And do you see that? So um, we've now got uh, layout three has appeared here. Let's just close that for a second. And let's create a new page. Uh, and on my new page, uh, I want to have that layout multiple times up. Because that's again a little little problem of, of home layout, of, of working your office docu press or other digital press or your laser printer or whatever, or, or, or somebody wants something done. That um, uh, you often have to do uh, in position, which normally the composite work for, for, for proper printing press, you would leave to uh, the print house to do. Um, let me just, yeah, that's okay. Um, but uh, when you're working uh, in the office environment, often you've got to do it yourself, unless you've got a, a, your own uh, in position program. I actually use one of those called Imposition Studio. Uh, but if you don't do this a lot, uh, it's quite easy to do it with composition zones. Well, uh, okay, we've now got our multiple up, and of course, if we uh, change uh, any one of those, so I'm going to go to text now uh, and um, uh, just change uh, the edit composition zone. If I edit anything, then uh, it's edited on everything. Um, uh, happy Arts March from all of us. And you see that appear, uh, appears, I can close that now. Um, what if I want to go further than that? Um, might take a moment to refresh there. Okay. What if I, I, I this, this guy is coming round to me uh, with his, his uh, he wants his 500 done tonight, and I show him the, the proof, and he says, oh, that's great, you've got Latin right now, but I actually want to replace that very short text with a whole page of text, which I'm going to have to copy down from somewhere else. Uh, let me sit at your computer while I do this. At which point he doesn't quite see the steam coming out of your ears. But uh, we can go uh, further with composition zones because what we're going to do is we've got another computer and we're going to let him sit there with his, a different copy of Cork Express, page of course, uh, and he's going to work on this same thing himself. So let's go back over here uh, to uh, the content uh, and um, I'm going to just click on there uh, and edit. Uh, and now it's it's same thing layout three this project only show tab and project window make external uh, and what is what is this one this is Beatus Idibus I'm going to call it Beatus uh, Idibus uh, and this is now saving it as a separate Quark Express file uh, and um, okay uh, let us now edit that uh, composition zone uh, I'm going to go open recent Beatus Idibus um, uh, and it does that, or equally, uh, I could, don't save that, I could simply composition zones, uh, edit, uh, and up it comes. And okay, it's not going to change now every time I type something, so let's just minimize that a little bit so we can look at it. Um, uh, it's not going to change that right now, uh, because if it did, um, uh, uh, beware the Ides of March, uh, no, uh, remember Caesar that thou art mortal. Getting a slightly more uh, downbeat tone to that. Now, obviously, um, if we're on a network and he's working on this in a different computer and he can, uh, then uh, that's going to be a bit of a problem uh, if it, every time he changes anything, it changes on my screen. So, what's going to happen now is when I save that, um, I'll close that, uh, up it comes the revised version, it takes a moment to check it, uh, checks it periodically, and again I can just edit that. So he can be working on his document on a different computer 
while you're continuing to work on other things or simply uh, working on something else of your own or even watching Netflix, um, but you're not allowing him access to your computer. And of course, that's a slightly silly example, uh, slightly cynical, uh, but we've all been there. We've all had those kinds of friends who know that we uh, do a bit of design and therefore think that we are always willing to do design for them at any time. But uh, if you're working on a, a shared uh, newspaper, you can have uh, different uh, articles being worked on by different people. Uh, if you're working on adverts to go to paper, you can be working, you can be given that composition zone. Uh, you can then do the advert, it'll be the right size, and then when you press save, it'll, it'll come back in and be in the paper straight away. All kinds of possibilities here. Composition zones are very powerful. Uh, you can also save back as a picture. So once you've finished fiddling with it, uh, you can save it back as a picture. And also, uh, if you want to have image editing, but you're, you've got so many different effects applied to something that it, it's getting really slow, you could, in fact, just save it out as a composition zone. And so it's only updating uh, as and when, um, and then have no more difficulties. So they're very, very easy to use. All you do is you create composition zone using the uh, contextual menu, um, and then you uh, edit the composition zone. Uh, if you're doing it in the same uh, project, then it will do live. If you want to uh, do it as a separate project, you go to the content um, uh, palette over here, which of course is in window uh, content, and all you do is you edit that uh, and uh, make it external. Um, uh, and uh, there you are. So uh, that's all we've got time for this week. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Martin Turner, author of Desktop Publishing with Cork Express 2017. Uh, I bid you uh, salvete um, and uh, happy corking.